Goodwood is famous for racing, whether it be motorsport or horses, and the racecourse overlooking the South Downs is not only for equine sport, but also aims to highlight some of the region's artisan food producers as well. So I cashed in my betting slips and went to take a look. With the sun shining and the Prosecco flowing, it was a glorious day for racing at Goodwood. As well as the equine action on the course, there was plenty of food and drink stands at the event, showcasing artisan food producers from across our region and beyond, including coffee in a bag and gin made with watercress. So how it happened was um, tea pigs started with, with tea bags in pyramids, and I saw the idea and I thought it would be really great to get coffee into a bag, so I managed to source the equipment and I've started doing it. It's absolutely brilliant, no mess, just great coffee. Uh, in three minutes. It's uh, one bag per cup, but it's exactly the right amount of coffee, 12 grams. I'm using really high quality coffee in it, which is speciality coffee. So I'm making a real effort to give everybody the best coffee possible. We've got a um, micro distillery um, in Old Alsford, right on the watercress beds, um, where we make premium craft, craft spirits, small batch, um, um, of which we've got some fabulous gins with us today. It's a summer drink as well, isn't it? It's, it's nice, you can. It's not too heavy, it's light, and it's so full of flavour as well, isn't it? Paul, um, whose distillery it is, is a superb distiller. He's got a great nose and a great palate, and he makes some fabulous gins. Um, and in particular, our Twisted Nose Watercress Dry Gin. Yeah, he was very keen to create a premium spirit for Hampshire. So he's put lavender in there from Hampshire and the watercress is from Old Orsford, so it's a true Hampshire gin. As well as things to taste and try, cooking demos made use of some of the local ingredients as well. The layering up of the pastry layers is the crucial part. It's, it's got the, the butter in between the layers and as the pastry cooks it rises fast. And if you don't keep those layers neat when you're preparing your tart, it doesn't rise so well. Is that right, Lucy? That is right. saying the right thing? You are, you are. <laughs> Whilst the adults were placing bets on the horses, there were activities for the youngsters as well, with stories and gingerbread decorating. We work for the Goodwood Actors Guild um, and we've been employed here today to entertain kids, help them out. Les is doing storytelling and I am helping with them decorating gingerbread men, getting a bit messy. Uh, we've got sprinkles, we've got dolly mixtures, we've got marshmallows, food colourings. I just love how unique it is, it's very sort of different, it just separates itself from other events, especially with the Revival and the Festival of Speed, you don't really get things like that. And we love Revival, so we're very involved with it. Um, but here today I just think it's so family friendly, it's just really nice. Yeah. Oh yes, this is my storytelling stick and hat, this is all part of the performance that we, uh, we do. It's like rhyming stories, so um, there's probably the famous one of Captain Beaky and his band, and um, uh, Pirates, uh, the cat that sat on the mat and uh, oh and of course a story about underpants which children love. Mm -hmm. And where better to grab a cup of coffee and a snack than from a horse box cafe? It was originally a horse box and then we came up with the idea how good it would be to have toasties, teas and coffees and cold drinks. Yeah. And as it's in keeping with the horse racing we thought it'd be a great idea and a bit of fun. We've got a fair bit of space in here. Uh, you could probably get about four people and that's about it. <laughs> but it is quite tight. Of course, the event is also a chance to dress up and maybe enjoy a drink in the sun, or just kick back and let the band play. This is Richard Stringer for That's TV.